Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Any crime or conflict or war should be put in context and also in uh, put relative analyzed relative to other similar events. Therefore, you could figure out if this particular one is more gruesome than the other ones. For instance, uh, let's say you have a war here that killed in five years, let's say 100,000 people in five years. And you have another war here, which has one month killed 50,000 people. So half, half in one month versus 100,000 in five years. Obviously, the one in one month, 50,000 people is really things occurred Okay, more like that. So you would think that the hostilities in that month were really, really uh, over another level. We can put this in the context, for instance, what's going on in Israel and how in um, Gaza. You can put it in the context of the Ukraine or the war in Ukraine. I have here two, two articles that I'm going to discuss. Very strange articles. One. They're going to tell us how many bombs Israel dropped in five days, six days, five days on Gaza. How big Gaza is versus how many they dropped in Ukraine, how big the front is. And you're going to realize in Israel. That's one. And the other one is, well, guess what? Some United Nations uh, workers were blown up by the Israelis in Gaza. I guess collateral dam damage, isn't it? Not Hamas, United Nations. I'm going to show you. So I have this little garbage from Yahoo News and it's an update. So I'm not going to ba ba ba, tall riches, tra la la. I'm going to go to. So first, let's see what things occur here just to take a look on, on this, right? So here is Gaza Strip. You see that little piece of thing over there? Now, I think from one side to another, this little thing here is about 25 kilometers, it's like 17, 18 miles. And probably its width is about, I don't know, four miles, three miles. So it's a very small area. Now, if you dropped two bombs over there versus, um, versus 6,000, compare 6,000 dro bombs dropped on that one versus... 6,000, let's say, dropped in Ukraine. Obviously, those guys over there in this area were screwed up, right? Okay, so let's go down the latest tra-la-la, 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 tra-la-la. Right there. Israeli military, 6,000 bombs have been dropped in Gaza. In that piece of land that I showed you, 6,000. All right? I don't think those 6,000 bombs killed Hamas. I think it killed Hamas and others. Do they care? I failed to hear United States saying anything about that. I hear individuals here and there who dare to say something, like Bernie Sanders, and um, about it. So, let's go down and... Uh, <laughs> That's what's, what's written right here. Since the start of the Israeli-Hamas war, the Israeli military says it has dropped 6,000 bombs on Gaza in retaliation of the brutal attacks by Hamas. Two wrongs don't make a right, correct? Remember, you have the right to defend yourself, but there's still uh, legal uh, limitations beyond which become war crimes or genocide or whatever. So anyway... Um, 6,000, remember. Uh, the United Nations warned that the situation in Gaza is dire as food and water are running out and more than 338,000 Palestinians have been displaced. Palestinians, not Hamas. Palestinians. Why? Because someone has control over these guys' food and water. But they're free. They're free. And that's the first article. And this is the second article. 12 United Nations workers killed. Who killed them? 
We know exactly who killed them, but they're not going to say it. Here, at least 12 workers, at least, for, for the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Agency, UNRAW, have died. They just had a heart attack while having sex. They were like a vein popped in the brain and got a little, you know, uh, something. I'm just I'm so irritated with this garbage, man. Uh, anyway, a little stroke, I mean. In the Gaza Strip since Saturday, the agency said. So it's about what? Two a day? With 6,000 uh, bombs dropped? What do you expect? Remember, these guys died. Okay? They say here killed. Yeah. Who killed them? Let's see. Let's see if they say. We are devastated. United Nations RWA. We are devastated to confirm that 12 UNRWA colleagues have been killed since 7 October in the Gaza Strip. By what? By gangs? By pimps? Ladies of the night during having sex? How did they die? We mourn this loss and are grieving, grieving with our colleagues and families at UN staff and civilians must be protected at all times. Where the fuck? Where is it in this? And this is the end of it. That's the end of it, the, the article. Do you read anything here? Remember, if I'm going to give you... No, I'm not going to go on this one, obviously. And I'm going to change it like this. Remember, if... I'm going to give you a direct example. So you, if you have any questions and uh, um, misunderstandings, let's say your daughter. Uh, let's say, God forbid, God forbid, or someone that you love a lot, is, God forbid, caught by a criminal, and that criminal does something bad to her, if you know what I mean. How would you like if these guys will not name that criminal? Someone, she was um, abused, let's say they say, use euphemisms, she was aggressed. Let's say she was, mm -mm -mm, and maybe she died with the wounds afterwards. How would you feel about it? Would you be okay with that? Well, if you're going to be okay with that, I would not be okay with that. All right? I would like to know exactly who did it, how that person did it, and be punished. Real, real bad. All right? Do we hear that from that little thing? No. I don't hear that. So that's why when I, when I hear all this, when I, when I listen and I read this kind of garbage, left and right, I'm like, okay, don't wrongs, don't two wrongs, or don't make a right. But to avoid mentioning who did it? Who do you think did it? Do you think it was Hamas? Do you know? I don't know. Do you think it was the Palestinian people in general? I don't know. Do you think it was the uh, Jewish civilians or Jews? Do you think? Do you think it was uh, Israel defense, uh, uh, how they call it, uh, military? Do you think it was them? Do you think it was maybe those 6,000 bombs? Or do you think the Palestinians or the Hamas just shoot up and down or they kill them so they can blame the... Do you think it's possible? It's possible. Probable? Probably not. But it's a possibility. Could happen. But why should we go to the least possible scenario when we have the big fucking elephant in the room? Well, I'm pretty much sure that a normal person who reads that would ask the question, wait a minute, wait a minute. We know details what happened in Israel, what Hamas did over there. That was awful. Those are crimes. Horrible crimes. Civilians, military, and so on. The reason and that, that, that's a different story. With the reasons and what's come, coming next, how it started, who started it, it's a different story. You name the people, you name the organization who did it. They're not going to say some entered... Israel and committed some crimes. They never said that. They said exactly who did it. And here, uh, they, they died. Just, uh. my friends, with this kind of uh, uh, reporting, um, and I'm not a Palestinian. I'm not an Arab. I'm not someone that, you know, sympathizes with uh, either side. I just want peace over there. Those guys to have their country, these guys to have their country, and stay the fuck away from one another. That's what I want. Well, you have your own freedom, you have your own freedom.
but these guys control the, these guys and I'm supposed to be okay if these guys turn off the food these guys starve turn off the water these guys um, die of thirst and how, how are those guys free there's not even you know so anyway we know who did it but these guys won't say it thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just